I'm up here today at Kelly Lane Reservoir, where there has been a number of problems over recent months in relation to antisocial behaviour. This has been an issue not just for local residents uh, who have had to put up with it, or for Northern Ireland Water who have had to deal with vandalism here, but it's also presenting a danger to those uh, who are taking part in activities up here that they shouldn't be involved in. We're going to hear today a little bit about some of the problems uh, and what we can do to try and make this area safe and enjoyable for everyone. So Francis, here we are at the reservoir. Um, you can, might be able to think on a, on a nice day. Looks great. Yeah. Um, we want to go for a jump in. What would be the problem with that? Um, the problem we have with swimming in a dam like us here, these are beautiful places. I, I, I like to think that they're the best kept secrets in Northern Ireland. They're lovely, they're beautiful, and we love people coming up and walking around them. But we have issues with swimming, okay? And swimming, the reason this here, it looks peaceful today, okay? It's very cold today, you'll not want to swim today, but in the summertime, when we get very warm weather, we get lots of young people up here. The issue is, this is a dam, it's, a, it's an impounding reservoir, it's man-made. They're very deep, they're about 60 metres deep, and it, it might be warm in the top, but you go down two metres, the temperature might be down one, two degrees, and you go on ahead on down, so you get you can get hypothermia very 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 quickly. You jump in off that tower. We have three three intakes, so we have three tower, uh, three positions of tower where we take water from. So basically, we, you jump in, you're going to jump in, and you're going to drop down four or five six meters because you're coming up at a high height. And we have people, we have young adults basically who are eight, 17, 18, 19 years of age who are basically climbing over the wall to jump off the top of the towers into the, where, they, where, where our intake points are at. And the thing is, we're bringing, in the summertime, we're bringing in 7.5 million litres of water a day, okay, going through a pipe with a velocity, right, at the head, basically from here down to the plant of maybe 40 metres, okay. So if you can imagine you're bringing water on this level down to this level at a high volume. So if anybody gets caught in that flow, the only place they're going is to is, is into that pipe, into the screen on that pipe, and they're not they will not have the they will not have the energy to, to, to pull themselves off it, and they're going to drown. And what will happen then is some of our staff are going to have to go out to that. Um, the PSNI is going to have to go out to it. Fire brigade will be out of it, and to, to, to get that person off. Something did happen here. It's a very remote area. Yes, it's very remote, and as you can see where we're at, the time we can get the PSNI here, the time we get the fire brigade here and the ambulance here, can take 20, 30 minutes. So anybody who gets in a difficulty here, you know, that's the sort of time you're talking about getting people here. Police in Mid East Antrim are very much aware of the issues and are working with Northern Ireland Water and the community to keep everyone safe. Focus patrols in the area involving the local neighbourhood team are taking place regularly to deter dangerous and criminal activity and to provide reassurance to residents. The dangers associated with some of the antisocial behaviour taking place are obvious and it's important that parents and guardians are taking an active interest in what their children are doing. We would encourage speedy reporting of any issues to the police.